WWE is considered to be the pinnacle of sports entertainment. Anyone and everyone that gets into the wrestling business dreams about competing at WrestleMania and winning the WWE title. While not every star gets to live their dream, through hard work, perseverance, and a little bit of luck, they can find themselves rubbing shoulders with the very best in the business. Vince McMahon, as vindictive and hardline as he is, never completely shuts the door on stars. In the past, we've seen superstars that at one point turned against Vince McMahon only to return to the promotion. As long as stars are marketable and bring in the dollars, McMahon will be happy to set aside their differences and work with them. However, just because a superstar is a cash cow for the company doesn't mean his or her job is safe. My name is John and in this video we will take a look at 10 stars who were released in 2014 and what they're doing today. At the height of their popularity, Shad Gaspard and JTT were two of the hottest acts in WWE as crime time. Yo, 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 pop a 40 and check your rollies, it's crime time. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Crime Time might not have been one of the most politically correct names given to two African American stars, but the duo ran with the idea and the WWE fans absolutely ate it up. Whether they were up to their old shenanigans by stealing other stars' possessions or trying to scam the talent, JTG and Shad certainly had the charisma that saw them compete for the tag team gold in the company. However, WWE decided to break them up in 2011, and that turned out to be the final nail in their coffin. While Shad was released from the company, JTG was able to hang around till 2014, before he was eventually released as well. It also became a running gag among the internet fanbase who decided to keep track of the time JTG would be employed by WWE. Since his release, JTG has wrestled on the indies both as a singles competitor and as a tag team with Shad. JTG has also written two books and has tried his hand in acting, starring in a 2015 film titled Bad Night. When Oksana was introduced to the WWE audience, the fans were just as perplexed as the stars backstage. No one quite understood what WWE saw in the diva, who first caught WWE's attention during her time as a bodybuilder. Oksana was then placed in a couple of storylines along with Goldust, Teddy Long, and finally Cesaro, before she and Alicia Fox started teaming up. WWE producer and one of the most influential men backstage, Kevin Dunn, mentioned that Oksana was his favorite WWE diva, giving us a hint as to why she remained with WWE for as long as she did. Oksana was given her marching orders in 2014, after which she began working for the gym chain UFIT as the director of trainers for two years. Oksana has since started her own business as a personal trainer and currently resides in Tampa, Florida. When we speak about wrestling families, we definitely have to mention the Tongas. Camacho is the son of former WWE star Haku, who is widely considered to be the toughest man in the pro wrestling industry. While Camacho did not achieve much success in the company, he stayed with WWE for a solid six years before being released in 2014. After his release, Camacho worked for Impact Wrestling for a year before leaving the company. He has since wrestled for New Japan Pro Wrestling under the name Tongo Loa, and became a member of the Bullet Club upon his arrival. He, along with his brother Tama Tonga, who started calling themselves the Gorillas of Destiny, have won the IWGP Tag Team titles three times, thus becoming a dominant tag team in the promotion. With a background in boxing and jiu-jitsu, Yoshitatsu had all the tools to become a top star in the WWE. However, the powers that be did not believe Yoshi was a top-level talent, and the star was confined to mediocre roles often jobbing to other stars. Yoshi initially performed on the ECW brand, and when the brand folded, he worked on Raw and SmackDown before being sent to WWE's developmental brand NXT. Tatsu would be named a pro for the fifth season of NXT, and after performing mainly on superstars in NXT, Yoshi would be released from WWE in 2014, during the roster cuts. He then worked on the independent circuit before returning to New Japan, where he competed until last year. Yoshi currently works for All Japan Pro Wrestling, where he was able to win the tag team titles with his partner Kento earlier this year. Brodus Clay might not be a model employee that wrestling companies look for, but he certainly captured the imagination of the fans when he performed as a Funkasaurus. Clay initially made his main roster debut as Alberto Del Rio's bodyguard, but was taken off television when WWE decided to repackage him. Brodus, along with Naomi and Cameron, worked with what they were given, but the novelty of their gimmick would soon wear off and WWE decided to turn Brodus heel. 
Brodus was then sent back to NXT where he went after the NXT Championship. Before he could win the title, Clay was released from his contract in 2014, and he then signed up with Impact Wrestling. Brodus spent nearly four years with the promotion before his problems with management started coming to the forefront. Clay parted ways with the promotion back in April and is currently a regular contributor on Fox News. After spending seven years on the independent scene, Evan Bourne was signed to a WWE contract in 2007 and the star made his main roster debut the following year. With his incredible talent and ability to capture the imagination of the fans, Bourne became a fan favorite. In 2011, Bourne won his first title in WWE when he captured the tag team titles along with Kofi Kingston. However, in 2012, Evan broke his leg during an accident which put him on the shelf for a year. Bourne just couldn't seem to replicate his success that he found earlier and was released from WWE in 2014. Evan then competed on the independent circuit for a few years before signing up with New Japan Pro Wrestling. The former WWE star is currently signed to Impact Wrestling where he is in the midst of his first run as the X Division Champion. Evan, now known as Matt Seidel in the promotion, is a former Impact Grand Champion. Caitlyn, much like Oksana, first caught the eye of WWE scouts during her time as a bodybuilder and a fitness model and was signed to a developmental contract in 2010. She would join the third season of NXT with Vicky Guerrero as her mentor and won the third season defeating Naomi in the finals. Caitlyn made her main roster debut on SmackDown and within a year's time was competing for the WWE Divas title. Caitlyn finally got her hands on the Divas Championship in 2013 when she defeated Eve Torres to become the new champion. She later dropped the title to AJ Lee and in 2014 decided to retire from WWE to focus on her marriage and her clothing line. Caitlyn returned to in-ring competition last year and has since made sporadic appearances on the independent scene. She launched her own fitness clothing company in 2014 and is also a spokesperson for Blackstone Labs and Prime Nutrition. As far as the biggest flops in WWE go, Mystico's name will be at the top of the list. Mystico was signed by WWE to much fanfare back in 2011 after spending nearly a decade working for various promotions. However, for the majority of his WWE stint, Mystico, who performed under the moniker of Sin Cara, was either sidelined due to an injury or was berated and ridiculed by the fans for botching his moves. WWE finally ran out of patience with the star in 2014 and both parties decided to go their separate ways. After leaving WWE, Mystico competed for various indie promotions and is currently signed to CMLL. Mystico has been using the name Karistico, which is a combination of his two previous names Sin Cara and Mystico. While Sin Cara was arguably the biggest draw in Mexico before signing up with WWE, his time with the global leader in sports entertainment definitely hurt his reputation, something the star is so desperate to correct in CMLL. The Great Khali's WWE debut will go down as one of the most memorable debuts in wrestling history. The behemoth manhandled The Undertaker on his first night on SmackDown and defeated the legendary Phenom at Judgment Day, giving the fans a glimpse of what was to come. Just a year later, Khali won the World Heavyweight title. While the fans didn't take a liking to the superstar, WWE would invest in The Great Khali in an effort to make inroads into the Indian market. Over the course of the next few years, Kali was a little more than an afterthought, with WWE giving him the gimmick of a Punjabi playboy. In 2014, Kali's contract with the WWE would expire, and both parties mutually agreed to go their separate ways. Since his departure from the WWE, Kali has opened his own wrestling school in India, and has made a couple of appearances in WWE. Arguably the biggest name on this list is that of CM Punk, who walked away from the WWE in January of 2014 but was sent his termination papers later that year on the day of his marriage. Punk turned the wrestling business on its head in 2011 when he delivered the Pipe Bomb promo, which also attracted mainstream media attention, and Punk was also able to hold on to the WWE title for 434 days, a record which was recently broken by Brock Lesnar. Punk, who was disillusioned with WWE's direction for his character, decided to walk away from the company after the Royal Rumble in 2014. Punk was released from the company later that year, and the Straight Edge star vowed to never wrestle for any promotion. The former WWE champ then turned his attention to MMA and signed with the UFC. Punk has since fought twice in the UFC, losing both of his bouts. While his future in the organization is up in the air, Punk is still contracted to the UFC. And these were 10 wrestlers released in 2014 and where they are today. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching Wrestling Hub, and I'll see you later with more wrestling videos.